So my research is focused on stomach ulcers in horses and my PhD work looked at omeprazole and some of the factors that affect omeprazole and particularly we were interested in why we were seeing horses with glandular disease not respond the way that we see with squamous disease. So we looked into that a bit deeper and there's a range of reasons that apply there but what we start to recognise and realise is, is that one size doesn't fit all. This blanket approach to treating ulcers per se uh, simply doesn't work across the board and we need to have different strategies for different horses, different strategies for different environments and different strategies for squamous disease and glandular disease. So a big part of that is you know, looking at the, the, the omeprazole and the pharmacological management of disease but also looking at other options like feed supplements and how we feed horses to reduce the risk of disease. For squamous disease it's very much about how we feed them and that can really change our risk factors. But for glandular disease the feeding has a lot less if anything to do with the disease and so we start looking at other strategies like our nutraceuticals and feed supplements and how we can use those to fortify our stomach's natural defences to get a better long term outcome than just relying on drugs alone or something like that. So a big part of that is, is you know, we think about these, these supplements and things that we can use alongside management changes and alongside drugs to, to prevent our diseases in horses. And one of the things I looked at years ago when I was working for another company was a, a formulation of pectin, lecithin, a buffer and Saccharomyces cerevisiae. And we were able to show a really, you know, significant protective effect in horses under racetrack conditions, under very high ulcerogenic conditions, we were able to show that that formulation was successful in preventing the reoccurrence of disease when we stopped the omeprazole therapy in most of those horses. And that was really positive and encouraging. And then it was really nice to see that recently Collado have picked that up and formulated that into the gastroid recovery. And so it's a study that it, you know, has a really a nice evidence base in a really high risk population. And it's true to the original formulation of what we studied in that, which is very different from a lot of the other formulations that we see out in the market.